Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Hub back in another video today. And today the Houston Rockets beat the Portland Trailblazers 110 to 92 and proved to 36 and 35. They have gone one game over 500 for the first time since mid January, I think like January 13th or something like that. Like that kind of area. Uh, maybe January 14th, 15th. And. The Rockets get a great win. Another great performance from Jalen Green. And I'm going to go out there and I'm going to say it. Jalen Green in the first half of this ball game, he looked complete trash. Um, eight, eight points, terrible shooting. And Jalen looked like the the player that you know we we don't want to see Jalen. You know, Jalen looked like the Jalen that we don't want to see. And I don't ever want to see again. You know, the the inconsistent Jalen Green. But then the second half comes, and Jalen Green went crazy in the second half. He put up 19 points in the second half. He shot better from the outside and from the floor. It was a tough shooting night for Jalen, 9 for 26 and 4 for 12 from 3. But the that pouring shooting night, the poor shooting night for Jalen, a lot of that does come from the first half. This was a really, really rough first half for Jalen Green. But if you look at Jalen's stats in the second half, 19 points, better shooting, uh, better field goal percentage, and, and better three-point percentage than he had in the first half of, of the ball game. Jalen changed things around in the second half, and that's a great thing. And I think the Rockets changed things around in this in this second half as well. And they, they did exactly what they did last time. They faced off against these Portland Trailblazers. We saw this last time, and Jalen Green was a big reason why the Rockets turned things around Last time in the second half against Portland when the Rockets won 123 to 107 against the Portland Trailblazers uh, in Portland against against them a couple weeks ago when this winning streak started. So that, that's that, that's when this winning streak started. It almost ended to this Portland Trailblazers team tonight. I know the Rockets got through this win, but it was it was a rough start to this game, just like it was last time in Portland and. I was honestly really surprised to see the Rockets get off to struggle to this game. The Rockets scored 28 points in the first quarter, and I found myself saying, that's it? The Rockets have been dominating in the first quarter of these ball games. They're, you know, they're, um, they're at 28 points in the first quarter. I'm like, the last couple of games, they've usually been at that number, like, within the area of one to three minutes remaining in the quarter. So... Uh, they've been playing great. I mean, last game, last game before this, four they put up forty five in the first quarter. Game before that, forty two. They've been putting up high numbers in the first half and in the first quarter. And the the amount of points they put up in the first half of this ball game, forty seven points, was the amount they put up in the first quarter of their last ball game, forty five, or was two more than the their last game. But the Houston Rockets are coming after the Golden State Warriors. They are targeting the Golden State Warriors. They are targeting that play-in spot. I've talked about this for weeks. I've talked about that the Rockets have a motive to go in and get that play-in spot. Reggie Bullock Jr. started this a week or two ago when he said that was the Rockets' goal. This all happened when this winning streak started. I think after the Rockets had won two in a row, Reggie Bullock Jr. did say something that that is what their goal is. And... Right now the Rockets, they are, <coughs> sorry, they're going after the Warriors hard because they're a half game back. Look at the Warriors in the next two games. They got two really tough games on the road. Seven of their next eight games are on the road as well. Now for the Rockets, um, and one of those road games is in Houston as well. That would be a great game on April 4th. But for their next two games, they play two hard Eastern Conference matchups. Uh, the Miami Heat, which is tomorrow, and then the Orlando Magic, which is Thursday. So those will be two really hard games for the Orlando Magic. I mean, sorry, for the Golden State Warriors to deal with. And especially knowing the Houston Rockets are right behind them. And on a winning streak, nine nine wins in a row. They've won, what, 12, 11, 11 out of their last 12 games. The Rockets are red hot. And then here you have the Warriors slumping a little bit. Just lost to the Timberwolves, lost to the Pacers. They are slumping. They had won before that against the Memphis Grizzlies, but before the one the win against Memphis, uh, they'd lost two games before that to Dallas and uh, New York. So they've Golden State has, has dropped four out of their last five, while the Rockets have won their last nine and 11 out of their last 12. So the Rockets are only a half a game back, 
and the Warriors and Rockets could be tied for 10th place if the Warriors lose to the Miami Heat tomorrow. But let's get into the, into the Rockets scoring. Like I said, Jalen had 50, sorry, not 50, 27 points with six rebounds and three assists with one steal, uh, three steals and one block. So it was good defensively tonight for the Rockets and shot five or six at the free throw line. It was just a rough first half for Jalen. But to be fair, it was a rough first half for this whole Rockets team. It's not like... You know, it's it's not like this Rockets team was, you know, everybody was playing well. And then here you have Jalen absolutely playing garbage because that's not the case. The Rockets were shooting terrible from three. I think at one moment, um, at one moment, it was right before Jalen hit a three. Um, the Rockets were shooting like two for 15 from three. And I think Jalen hit a three and it, and it was, you know, three for 16. And you can see the difference because ultimately the Rockets finished 12 for 39 from three in the ball game. The Rockets hit like nine or 10 threes in the, in the, in the, um, in this, in the second half. So the Rockets changed things around and they, it's, you know, it's not Jalen. It's not just Jalen who struggled, uh, Dylan, Fred, everybody. I mean, the really the only guy I could think of who didn't struggle in the first half of this ball game is is Jock Landell. Jock Landell. Speaking of him, he had a seventeen point performance with nine rebounds, two assists, six for six, two for two from three. Great game for him. Three for three at the free throw line. Twelve points for Mintons with nine rebounds. Eleven points for Dylan Brooks. Off shoot night for him. Two for thirteen, but he did get to the free throw line, shooting seven for seven. Eleven points for Aaron Holiday. Good game for him. He made a three. Eight points for Jay Sean Tate. Four rebounds, two assists. Three points for Reggie Bullock Jr. Well, six points for the other Green, Jeff Green. And that really recaps this game for the Rockets. Another really strong game against the Houston Rockets for Dan Dan. Delon, Delano Banton for the Portland Trailblazers. He had a really good, really good game last time these two teams met up in Portland. He does it again with 28 points off the bench, 15 points for rookie and G, former G League Ignite player. You have two G League Ignite players with Jalen Green and Scoot Henderson going up against each other. Scoot Henderson, top pick from last year's draft with 15 points in this game. Man, it would have been sick to have those two guys, but I'm so glad we have a guy like Amin Thompson who is just as good, if not better, than Scoot Henderson, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section. Great one for the Rockets. Warriors fans, if you're watching, watch out because the Rockets are coming for them. Let me know your thoughts on the, let me know your thoughts on the win in the comment section, and peace out.